ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Ooh, wow, we made it. Guys, we are at the San Francisco Blockchain Week 2019, and I am here joined by none other, none other than the man himself, Wilson Wei. Hey, hey, the DLive community and Lino community, how are you guys doing? Glad to be back. We had an awesome day yesterday, so um, uh, today we're gonna have uh, more AMA session coming up with other awesome projects. And um, to start off, it's uh, I think Andy interviewing me today. So yes, today uh, I get to sit here and ask <laughs> you the question. Great, yeah. great, great. Let 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 let's get started. Okay. All right. All right. So. Just real quickly, do you mind going over your background, the kind of the history and the steps that it took you to get Lino to where it is today? Because a lot of people, you know, they're coming from other projects, other teams. Maybe it's your first time on DLive. Uh, you know, we'd love to hear your story. Do you mind telling us about that? Sure. Um, so first of all, I think um, most of the, the community people already are very familiar with the DLive and Lino. Um, and um, so we started the Lino project uh, back in um, 2017. Um, so it has been like two and a half years already. Um, we spent the first year mostly in um, development and creating algorithms. Um, I started the whole project with uh, my, my Berkeley, UC Berkeley and, and um, Stanford uh, alum. Um, so I graduated from UC Berkeley and then um, um, our CTO Ryan graduated from uh, UC Berkeley as well. Um, Chief scientist from um, um, Chief Fong is from um, graduated with a PhD C, uh, CS background um, from Stanford, and um, we started the whole project um, in 2017 July. Um, and uh, back then, um, first of all, like I, I got into the crypto early 2017, and um, um, we think that blockchain is a very powerful and revolutionary technology that is um, fairly new uh, back then with the whole smart contract and, and public chain um, story coming out, um, leading by Ethereum. Uh, and then uh, we noticed that we can actually use it to change, to transform the whole um, content sharing industry. Uh, fundamentally, we're trying to um, solve the problem, the class conflict or the, or the interest conflict between platforms and um, content creators. Mm -hmm. uh, platforms they're constantly trying to get more and more gross margin um, and therefore they're exploiting the profits or, or the revenue for content creators and also users um, so we're try trying to change all of that by giving the power back to the community back to court users and content creators who are actually the, the court um, uh, power or contributors to make the platform successful and uh, we want to form a community from bottom to up so, so it's a, a, a complete um, 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 upside down strategy. Yeah. So normally like how traditional content platforms grow, um, they raise a lot of money and they spend a lot of money and they, it's a, a top to bottom. Uh, we're, we're trying to bottom up. Um, we we, we want to build a great community um, which could have a huge sense of ownership like the DLI community and the Lino community um, and they expand from there. Um, so, so that's the basic uh, idea, and then, um, uh, as you all know, DLive has been live for um, uh, on the Lino test land uh, for for a little bit more than a year, and uh, uh, and we're going for mainnet very very soon. Oh, wow. yeah. yeah. So, any you you a DLive streamer as well? Would you like to share some of your? You know, um. Yeah. Experience? No. I I will absolutely share my story about DLive, but as well, uh, I just kind of wanted to build on top of everything that you're talking about. How did DLive come about, and you know, what, what were kind of the steps that kind of followed with that as well? Because you know, Lino and DLive, you know, we're like the same family, guys. The same family. Yes, I, I think uh, DLive um, has been doing a pretty good job mm -hmm. ever since uh, DLive launched on um, the Lino testnet. Um, we grew from like almost zero. DLive oh, yeah. grew from like almost zero to to right now more than like five million MAU. Um, and we have millions of uh, Lino blockchain users actively every single uh, month. And um, so it's definitely a great success. It's already one of the biggest um, D app in the blockchain world. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're bringing real, um, we're solving real problems um, in, in, in the content industry. 
and um, compared to like um, a lot of the other projects that with no real user cases, um, I think D Live is a very great start for the whole Lino ecosystem. And after we launched Mainnet, um, I think uh, starting from next year, more application will start building on top of the Lino blockchain as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So, wow. Jeez, what an interesting history, guys. I uh, yeah. Wow. No, I. You know what? I, I've been out here for quite a few days now. I've gotten to hang out with the team. It's my first time ever being out here and like seeing the office and like seeing how everything is working. Wow. We've got such a talented team here, guys. Like it's crazy. You know what? And uh, I actually heard there's a little myth around the, the Lino office. It's like a legend. Okay. I heard that there's a guy on the team who if you give him 20 numbers, up to six digits, he can read them all back to you without any issue and in separate orders. Is that true? Um, and who is this guy? I think you might be referring uh, to CU. CU is our um, head of blockchain, and um, he was uh, uh, was the youngest uh, title holder of, of international grandmaster of, of memory uh, when he was at his age of 15, I think. So wow. he could he could remember like uh, more than a thousand random numbers within an hour. How uh, can how can you possibly remember a thousand random numbers and then spit them all back out? Yeah, he is just one of those genius. Uh, and then he rejected MIT to join us. He rejected uh, MIT to join the Lino team. Yes. Oh my. Uh, and w it's a very uh, very talented engineering team. Um, um, we have um, a lot of uh, very very top engineers from Silicon Valley. Um, they, they all have very good uh, experience in, in, in companies like, like Google. They're the top engineers from Google, um, um, Facebook, and Instagram. Yeah. Um, so it's a very cool team. Yeah. Um, and we have been working hard like for, for more than two years. And oh, yeah. It's, it's yeah. a tough, it's a very tough journey. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Jeez. Yeah, no, guys, seriously. I heard that story and I was like, that's not true. That's not true. But then I asked like everybody and they're like, oh, yeah, he does it all the time. But did you test it? I did test it, actually. Yeah, he, <laughs> he, he uh, well, my test for him was uh, I gave him a deck of cards. He looked at all all the cards in the deck. What, what is it, 52 cards in a deck? Yep. He looked at all 52 cards and like in a minute, and then I was like, okay, what's this card? Flip it over, he got it right. And he did that for all 52. Yeah, so, um, um, wow. Yeah, I, I got a very good question from the chat, actually. Um, so people are asking, um, um, the relationship between Lino and Lemon. Um, so, the in-app digital asset for DLive um, is Lemon, and uh, obviously Lemon, it's it's a it's kind of like a stable uh, uh, digital currency um, that it's uh, used for um, daily transaction, daily donation, uh, pay subscription on DLive. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, uh, from the back end, it, the, the, it, it's kind of like a stable currency, a stable cryptocurrency. Um, very designed, very similar to uh, MakerDAO. Like, uh, it's a, a, a Lino back collateral. Um, uh, of course, more than 100% collateral system um, so that we make sure it's, uh, it's pretty safe. Mm -hmm. So um, users who, who do not care about cryptocurrency or, or anything related to blockchain, um, they don't have to expose to, to anything related to, to the pricing uh, or, or volatility of, of the secondary market. Uh, they can directly use the lemon as any type of, of, of digital in-app digital assets, like 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 uh, uh, you know like just like points. Yeah. Um, so we maintain the good uh, user experience. And um, for users and also content creators. Meanwhile, we can still have the uh, Lino blockchain system to reward everyone at the, mean, at the same time. And um, Lino donation, uh, donation, it's gonna be enabled in the future. We're working on it right now. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Okay, okay. Is there any other uh, big updates that you guys are kind of planning right now behind the scenes that you'd be willing to share with us? Again, the biggest update, it's mainnet. Mm -hmm. um, uh, with the mainnet uh, coming up um, this quarter, um, 
there are a lot of things for us to prepare. Uh, we're upgrading the wallet and everything along with it, uh, the, the, the mainnet, the blockchain, um, the, the, all the SDK um, API library. Um, so that's a lot of work. And um, after we finish the mainnet, uh, you know, potentially um, next year Q1, we're gonna update some uh, um, some some feature like big new feature on the mainnet, um, but we're, we're not disclosing it right now. Mm -hmm. um, we'll, we will uh, put out the milestone uh, very soon, though. Um, but the, the the goal is to after we, we've officially published the mainnet, we hope that uh, more and more developers can join more people from the community can uh, can participate in the decentralized governance system to vote for validators to participate in the validator system um, to join to become a validator um, so from a more like testnet environment which is which was more uh, more centralized to a truly decentralized system that is governed governance by the community that's yeah. the goal for the whole mainnet yeah yes. okay yeah. decentralization yeah Okay, and so a, a pretty good question that I've actually received from numerous people actually a few times, and I think you are the man just to answer it. You are absolutely the man to answer the question. So can you give us once and for all the final pronunciation? Is it Lino or Lino? Oh. This is from <laughs> the man himself, guys, okay? So this is gonna solve it. Okay, this is it. This is it. Uh, I call it Lino. Okay. You call it whatever you want. I call it Lino. Lino. Yes. Okay. Clip it. <laughs> Chat. Clip it. <laughs> clip it and share it. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. And so you know we're here at San Francisco Blockchain Week. You've been doing a lot of interviews with a lot of interesting projects and stuff like yes. that. And so. Uh, can you kind of share what are you interested in and what, what have you kind of learned about? And as well, guys, a, a list of all of the interviews is down below. So if you guys just scroll down the page a little bit, you as well can learn about all these really cool projects. You know, it's blockchain technology. It's, you know, we're so ahead of the game here, guys. Really learn up, read up, can change your life. So first of all, like one, 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 quick, uh, one quick announcement. Um, um, uh, we're doing the airdrop uh, for Lino um, in uh, Telegram. Um, although it's not this, this this time is not for uh, for only for non-US um, um, new users only. Uh, but we're, we're going to do something for for all users soon. Um, so make sure you join our Telegram. And uh, that Telegram is the best place for us to collect any questions and answer any question, get back to the community as well. It's uh, it's so far um, the most uh, efficient communication. Um, tool for us okay. um, so make sure you join that and um, second let, let's talk about yeah we we did like a couple of uh, pretty awesome interview AMA with uh, project like Cosmos um, um, Hub Harmony Silicon Network Beijing Beijing Saya um, yesterday so uh, those are all the top projects all the pioneers um, in, in, the, in the blockchain space and today we're gonna do like Matic Network, um, ONT, uh, Blockstack, Binance US, Huobi, um, Ocean Exchange. So we cover projects, um, public chain projects, um, um, second layer uh, projects, um, and exchanges as well. So um, I, I just want to, um, you know, get get the blockchain whole the whole blockchain community um, um, to see like what. What what other good projects are doing, mm -hmm. and uh, compared to them, like what's what's Lino doing and what's D Live doing? Yeah. Um, uh, why why what we are trying to do has a value um, within the blockchain industry and also the content industry, and um, yeah yeah just basically uh, uh, um, exploring um, uh, showing like uh, to to our community what the blockchain is. Yes. Okay. Wow, awesome. And also chat, don't forget, okay guys, this is a live stream. At, at any time, if you have a question that you'd personally like to ask Wilson, just drop it in the chat. Maybe we won't see it because you know, chat's moving pretty fast. I'm seeing a lot of you know, hearts, D-Live love. Guys, we love it. You know, it's really great positive community we got here, keep it up. Uh, we got any questions here?
Okay. Uh, hey, this is a really good hype. So, 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 let's try to put some um, um, giveaway in the treasure Ooh, chest. Ooh, guys, get ready. We're uh, opening it. Let me, let me see, let me see. <laughs> We're gonna do it. Yeah, I, I, I'm not hosting this channel. Uh, hold on, give me a sec. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, get ready. Get ready. I hope you guys win the chest. So, okay. we're just trying to drop a chest. Um, okay, we're gonna drop a chest live, guys. Okay, so here, I, I got a good question for you. Yep. D Live. Who's a streamer that you enjoy watching on D Live? Who have you recently been watching? Uh. Bacon? Bacon. Yes. Uh, vir virtual Bacon, I think. Virtual Bacon. Oh, or Bacon 1. Oh, I forgot. Uh, oh, yo. Sh uh, shout out to Virtual Bacon. Hey, Bacon, are, are you here? He, he does, like, crypto news and, like, gaming, right? Yes. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. yeah. Um, I was once in his chat as well. Really? Um, in his um, um, stream, I think. Uh -huh. uh, we had a call. And um, um, I watched um, LT Zone quite a bit. LT Zonda? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, and um, uh, one last, uh, oh, I forgot the name. Yeah. I, I watch I watch quite some uh, streamers on the live. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I um, I I don't have just I, I just don't have like much time like just watching stream every single day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, okay. but I, I like I like um, how um, uh, Bacon is explaining um, what is blockchain and and, and, uh, and and helping the community to understand yeah. what is Lino. Yeah, for and, sure. Um, he's a software as well, so um, yeah, I enjoy watching his content. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. No, I I actually know Virtual Bacon as well. I, I've spoken to him a few times. Really great guy. Positive community. Yeah. Absolutely great guy. Shout out to Virtual Bacon. Um, we got a question here. Volume was reduced. Uh, how will this affect? Okay, uh, a very good question here. With the introduction of the in-app digital assets, transaction volume of Lino is reduced. Um, how will this affect the future pricing of Lino? Uh, again, first of all, I'm not allowed to comment on on anything uh, related to pricing, but I can I, I, I can comment on the um, transaction volume uh, of Lino. So. Um, Oh, the chest okay, is open. Uh, hold on, let Quick, me collect guys, it. Quick, guys, pull out your phones. So, chest. Um, first of all, the transaction for Lemons for in-app digital asset is on-chain activity as well. Um, so it's basically equal to when, when back in when we was on uh, on, on testnet, um, user were you know transacting Lino points and right now instead of Lino points they are they're transacting uh, lemons and there will be a 9.9 percent .9 cut uh, for 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 the blockchain um, in order to keep it uh, uh, increase the security level and also reward all the voters as well um, so it's basically the same system mm -hmm. it just we, we change the name and it, it won't affect um, it won't affect uh, the overall fundamentals of the blockchain and uh, the transaction volume for Lino uh, decreased a little bit. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It won't affect anything because um, the lemon transaction is first of all backed by Lino. Second of all, it's on chain activity. Third, it's the same as, as Lino points. It has a 9.9% tax rate. Um, so it's basically the same thing as before. Yeah. Um, and um, um, after we go main that, um, Lino, could possibly be, you know, traded on the secondary market, and then you you see the transaction of Lino increase by a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, we just want to separate those um, secondary market trading currency uh, versus a, a more uh, um, towards user uh, uh, type of, of currency. Um, we want to separate them completely um, so that we can still provide a very fluent and, and good user experience for all users mm -hmm. yeah okay so. yeah no uh, coming from the streamer side of things 
Uh, as some of you may know, I, I, I stream on DLive as well in my spare time. Uh, the end result to me is I haven't been affected. Like, uh, I, I haven't like had any hindrances or nothing like that. Nothing's gone wrong with the whole shift to the Lemon system. It went flawless. Yeah, so really good job on that. Really Thanks. appreciate it, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think DLive, uh, DLive has done a good job on that. And uh, Lemon, it's, it's, uh, it's issued by DLive on the blockchain. Um, so um, it's, uh, yeah, it's a much more clear system, I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. And also, uh, real quick question. Who designed the cute little pumpkin uh, donation lemon? And will we be getting more holiday-themed L little donation system. Do you know? I have no idea. I think Charles. Charles designed <laughs> it himself. Uh, I'm not sure, but but it could be Charles' idea. Really? Yeah. yeah no, um, I I've heard like everybody loves it. Yeah. We yep. we need some like spooky diamonds. Maybe like a a ghost in the ninja gini, a ghost ninjet or something like that. You know, whoever yeah, did that. That would be cool. Yeah. It was it that was really cool. cute. Really well done. Yeah. Um, so let's let's look at other questions that we we'll have. Did someone just steal one of our? <laughs> <laughs> you see that hand? You see that hand? Someone just randomly walk in and then take away. Can I get one? Yeah, this is live streaming. This is live streaming in oh 2019. <laughs> okay. We're in an enclosed space. Somebody just walks in takes a little QB and I, runs off with it. I hope I can uh, read Turkish. There are some Turkish. Live. Um, uh, but, yeah, and, okay, uh, I got a question. Um, D-Live, do you, do you have any plan for D-Live monetization streaming? Uh, D-Live, are there any other D-App servers? Uh, first one, like, uh, are there any any other D apps or services that plan to use Lino um, when they fully launch? Yes, definitely. Um, we already received a couple applications from developers, and um, after we go mainnet, we'll, we'll gradually announce that. And um, uh, theoret theoretically, uh, Lino blockchain is a fully open and transparent blockchain, which um, all developers can 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 develop on it without um, anyone's permission. It's permi permissionless. Um, so um, basically permissionless, you still have to, um, you know, um, 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 have some Lino stack in order to, to, to be a developer and, and, and a very simple application process. Uh, yeah, so I would expect, definitely expect uh, much more um, application be on top of the Lino network. It could be like short videos, long videos, it could be like uh, even even photo sharing, um, um, and um, and maybe even Twitter. Not sure, but it, it with the economic design, it's compatible with with any um, content sharing platforms. Okay, and so if you're a potential developer, what, what do you think would be the best way to get in contact with the Lino team to maybe start to you know pre-plan these things and uh, m maybe get in general discussion about it? Uh, Telegram. Telegram. Uh, yeah, and. Uh, I think we already have most of the document required for developers uh, on the on the on our website. Mm -hmm. So if you go to Lino.network and you click docs um, on the on the on the uh, uh, top bar, um, you, you can find all the all the development documents and also the GitHub. It's uh, it's fully open and transparent. Okay. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Yeah, but, so but still, we're, we're building a better library and, and API for all the developers. Okay, so yes. Telegram. We need to push that telegram. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, any other questions from chat here? Um, I got another question about like uh, uh, DLive monetiz uh, monetization. I, I think first of all, that's a that's a decision for DLive to make. Um, um, I I think it's possible for DLive to create more like monetization uh, methods. Uh, for example, introducing ads um, and. Um, um, Potentially, uh, maybe some other uh, uh, products, uh, cross promotion and um, collaboration with with AM publishers. Uh, those are all, all potential like monetization methods for DLive, and uh, I think I think um, DLive should definitely try some of that. Yeah. Okay.
We have some more questions here, chat. Yes. Um, um, okay, so question one, um, how will your team ensure that Lino Network remains the top um, uh, platform and, and keep pace at, ahead of your competitors? Okay. Um, first of all, I, I think um, we are with, you know, with the success of DLive, um, we're actually already one of the best uh, 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 public chain out there. And um, um, I would say, I would say in order to climb to, you know, to, 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 to be the best um, content um, sharing, you know, public chain, um, what we need to do is to introduce more apps like DLive, uh -huh. uh, which should welcome more developers um, um, and, and uh, incentivize more developers to, to build um, various uh, of content sharing platforms. Um, our our you know our vision for the next like three to five years is that we want Lino to be absolutely the best foundation or best infrastructure or best uh, economic si ecosystem for any anyone that a anyone who want to develop a new type of content sharing platform um, they would like to use Lino as the first infrastructure to bootstrap their traffic to come up with the best community like what DLive just did um, and and grow from there mm -hmm. um, and uh, uh, and also uh, uh, being able to uh, success in a sustainable um, and and, and um, way and um, uh, reach the long-term prosperity so that's the that, that's a, a, a long-term like mission for us okay okay yeah no it seems like a really good plan because yeah no for sure d live we're, we're the number one decentralized app in the world currently are, are we not uh i looked at the list i swear we're number one okay and it's by a long shot too yeah, yeah <laughs> I, I i i i i hope so uh d live is definitely one of the best yeah out there and um uh, um, the achievement of what, what the, with, with like the PewDiePie and all those stuff is crazy. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, people just said uh, we'll have a couple million um, users on the blockchain already. That's amazing. Yeah, even without without us going on mainnet and listing, we already have that many user base. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. um, so another question about like, where can we buy Lino once it it's uh, been launched there publicly? Uh, uh, again, I'm sorry that I, I cannot um, um, comment on um, I, I cannot comment on any um, um, listing or pricing issues. Uh, but that information is going to be public um, um, as long as we have it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, any plans to change the developer reg register fee in the future? Uh, maybe. Um, I think right now it's already pretty low. Um, but we'll see how the market is taking it. Uh, and um, and um, yeah, if, 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 if you guys uh, would like to change that, you can actually come up with a proposal and then post it on, on the Lino blockchain and then uh, uh, people can vote for yes or no. That's mm -hmm. how we should do it as a community instead of um, us um, being the only team that is contributing to the network. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not the ideal case. And uh, that's why we need uh, decentralization. Yeah. yeah. To make decisions together, to make progress together, um, to be successful together and um, uh, we're trying our best, and uh, I think our community is trying the best as well. Okay, okay, yeah, no, I, I, I think uh, having the ability to vote on these things, it, it really makes you feel like, you know, we know it's decentralized, and we know that, like, every single user, their vote matters, because you will shape the platform as well and grow along with it. So, guys, get to voting. Use your vote. Okay. Uh, yeah, people are asking for listing or something. I, I, I just cannot um, not being able to comment anything on it. Uh, but the 
I uh, for sure it's uh, the the complete mainnet launch is in Q4, so it's coming up soon. Okay. Um, so the mainnet launch in Q4, which means by end of uh, December, and um, it could be sooner. Um, yeah, but let's just wait and see. Um, as long as we are, we, we we got any um, uh, further information, we're gonna update within the community in the Telegram. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I have a, another very important question for you. So there's a specific member of DLive, uh, and he swears that pineapple on pizza is really good. Well, what are your thoughts on this very important matter? Pineapple on pizza, that's Hawaiian style, right? Oh, my. <laughs> okay. I think that's, uh, uh, I like it. I like it. It's at, it's at, uh, it's at, um, um, I think tidy said yeah, it, right? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's tidy. Okay. Oh, my. <laughs> yep. um, you absolute madman. Yeah, will Lino be used for anything other than steak? Like, Lino will be able, like, uh, uh, DLive user will be able to use Lino uh, for staking and also um, donating, um, using it to, to, to do pay subscription um, and much more. Uh, and all those features are coming up very soon. Okay, okay, awesome, awesome. And so, you guys, uh, that's pretty much gonna wrap up the uh, the interview here. Uh, I, I would like to once again give a big shout out to the man of the hour, the CEO of Lino, Wilson Wei. Thank you, could you uh, give us a few closing remarks here? Yeah, <laughs> actually I'm not leaving. I'm gonna be interviewing other projects, uh, so I'll still be here, but yeah, thank you all for being here. Um, thank you all for being a great community. And um, um, again, it's a it's a it's a long journey and a very challenging journey. Um, has been a while. Thanks for the wait. And um, hopefully, we can launch the mainnet successfully together with the help of our community. And um, and again, uh, the the purpose of, of the Lino network is to be um, as decentralized as possible. Mm -hmm. And um, um, we are the one that. Uh, build the foundation of it, but um, you guys should be the one that lead it, lead the direction of, of, of the Lino network, um, and um, that's uh, that's a plan. Okay. So hopefully we can get there together. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time, Wilson. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Andy. you, and thank you once again, Chat. You know we we love the questions. Uh, we are going to be ending this personal AMA here, but like we've been saying, if you want to ask any more questions, want to get some more knowledge, get some feedback from the community, uh, by all means, jump in the Lino Discord and as well Telegram. and the Lino Telegram. Those yeah. are the best places to find out all the answers that you're looking for. Uh, as well, there's the D Live Discord. At any time you have general questions as well, we got great staff, great community members that will help you out with anything that you might and want to know. Airdrop still open for um, um, all new users, uh, for non-US new users. Uh, just just uh, uh, join our Telegram and um, you'll be able to participate in. And uh, we have other projects coming up. Um, I'll, I'll see you guys very soon. Okay. The next right. one I think is Ma Matic Network. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Yeah, okay. Bye, Bye guys. guys.